Welcome to P3 Unit 1 Algebraic Methods and today we're going to look at just dealing with add and subtracting, well, multiply and dividing algebraic fractions. So let's look at it with just numbers. What we want to do is kind of cancel any kind of common factors just to simplify our fractions. So when I'm looking at this one, I can, 3 goes into 3 and 3 goes into 9, so I can simplify that. 3 goes into 3 once, into 9 3 times. And then looking at the other one, 2 goes into 2 once, goes into 8 4 times. And then I've got 1 times 1 and 4 times 3 so that gives me 1 over 12 and what I should say is that when I'm looking over in here and I'm simplifying these I'm cancelling you know anything from the top will be able to cancel from anything on the bottom as long as they are multiplied so let's have a look at the second one. Second one is very much the same process, same skills, it's just with letters. So looking on the top, I've got an AB and a CA, and these will cancel because everything's multiplied. A times B times C times A, everything's multiplied. So I can cancel anything on the top with anything on the bottom. So we can cancel the B with this B. Now, technically, it would be 1 and 1. Um, you don't always have to put that 1 in, though, when you're dealing with the letters. Just, you know, it's worth putting it in only when it's necessary. And C, we'll cancel with C there. So looking on the top, we've got A times A. And on the bottom, is just 1 times 1, which is 1. So A times A is a squared and there's no point in putting the divide by one there now with this third one before we can actually simplify it we need to recognize that this bottom here is the difference of two squares which means I can factorize it I can put it into brackets so we've got x plus 4 over 5 multiplied by 7 over and it's an x plus 4 x minus 4 <clears throat> and then I can cancel this x plus 4 with this x plus 4 and that leaves me then on the top 1 multiplied by 7 and then on the bottom 5 multiplied by x minus 4 and I'd leave that uh, factorized, I'd leave that in the brackets now when it comes to division what I want to do first of all is turn it into a multiplication so I'm not going to go into the reasons why you should know them but I'm just going into the skills so I'm just turning it into a multiplication so it's going to become c over a, B. And then after that, then I can simplify. The A is going to go with this A. And then that's it. Okay. Um, doesn't really matter if I put a 1 on the bottom. Uh, sometimes I will put that 1 in. But it doesn't really matter so much when you're doing this. Uh, so I've got C on the top over B squared. And then final example here, again it's not initially obvious what we need to do, but when you're approaching this just look at what you can factorise. We've got difference of two squares here, so I can turn this into an x plus 3, x minus 3. And then this one you can see that I've got a factor of 5 that I can take out of both of these terms. And of course finally I've got a divide sign that I want to turn into a multiplication. 
So let's start there. So, you know, and sometimes it's worth just starting with what you can do and letting the question kind of speak to you as it later sometimes it becomes obvious, you know, if you don't spot it straight away, you know, just start working through it and do what you can do first. So here we can see x plus 1 will cancel with this x plus 1. This x minus 3 will cancel with this x minus 3. So along the top I've just got 1, just 1 times 1. And on the bottom I've got 5 multiplied by x plus 3. So 5 multiplied by x plus 3. And that's it done. Nice and easy. Here are a few questions for you to try. Pause the video now. Let's look at the answers. For this one, since it's a show that the best way to start is to pick the side that obviously has a lot of stuff on it and factorize. So we get a difference of two squares. Does it really matter which way around I do them? And again, we've got another difference two squares. Turn this into a multiplication then my x squared minus 64 will be on the top. I'm jumping straight into the difference of two squares there. I've just noticed a little mistake on that one. Should be the 8. And then the 36 minus x squared is a difference of two squares. It's just a 6 minus x and 6 plus x and then I want to do my cancelling, my simplifying so x plus 6 is the same as 6 plus x and then both of these are going to go with both of these so you can see it just leaves me with an x minus 6 over a 6 minus x and I suppose there's two ways you're looking at this, but you just want to change one of them. Um, I'm just going to change the top one. doesn't really matter. So if I think about taking a minus 1 outside, this would become 6 minus x. And 6 minus x is still on the bottom. So all I've done is take a minus 1 at the top, and now I can see, you know, that it will cancel and it leaves me with that minus 1. So that then equals the right hand side. Therefore I've shown it. Okay. Second question now again is just a matter of factorising. So let's look at this one. We've got it going into two brackets so uh, make 28 so we're looking at a positive and a negative number 4 and 7 so positive 7 negative 4 will work for that bottom one we can take 3 outside and x outside leave me x plus 5 so that one's factorised Top one, I can take an x out of both, and then the bottom one again. We're looking at two brackets, positive and a negative, and positive seven and a negative one, and then all I need to do now is just a bit of simplify where I can so that x minus 1 and x minus 1 will go x plus 7 and x plus 7 will go and then that oh and the x and the x here and that's pretty much it so now all I've got left is x 
x minus 4 on the top and 3x plus 5 on the bottom. Finally, question 3, part A. So simplify. So look, I can take an x outside first of all. x squared minus 3x minus 40. Come back to that in a moment. Take a 2 outside, x plus 3. And turn this into time. So the x squared minus 9 is now on the top. And the x squared minus 11 x plus 24 is on the bottom. I'll do an extra couple of steps just because I've still got to do this left hand side one anyway. So I'm looking at 40, so 8 and 5 will work there. So we've got an x plus x minus, we want the 8 to be minus, the 5 to be positive. So 2x plus 3. And then we've got an x minus 3 and an x plus 3 on the top. And then looking at this bottom one, so the constant is positive there. So I need two negatives. So that middle term is negative. So into 24, 3, 8, 24, and 3 and 8 is 11. So that's what we want there. I almost wrote 11 then. And then let's look at some simplifying. So x minus 8, x minus 8, x minus 3, x minus 3, x plus 3, and x plus 3. And that looks like it. So that leaves me with x, x plus 5 over 2. Okay, I could expand that, you know, x squared plus 5x over 2, but uh, I'll leave it as it is. Now, part B is here, so you can see this wants me to differentiate it by the symbols here and then substitute 2 in. So part B, I will expand it now. So if I look at the f of x, and this is obviously the f of x there. So we've got x squared plus 5x over 2. So separate it into separate terms. And then let's differentiate it. So that's from, you know, P1 there. And P2 last year. So let's have a little look. Um, all I want to do here is, like I said, differentiate. So 2x over 2 plus 5 over 2 there. And, you know, we can see that the 2s are going to cancel there. So I've got x plus 5 over 2. So when I substitute my number 2 in here, I don't know what's going on in my handwriting there. Let's substitute the 2 in. It's going to be 2 plus 5 over 2. And 2 plus 2 and a half is 4 now, so 9 over 2 or 4.5 if you want to put it in decimals.